So I'm actually going to attempt to copy Sam Sulik's spring bulking diet, which is approximately, according to my notes, a little over 7,000 calories and just wait till you see what it consists of. Anyways, he starts the morning off with a bro quart, which is a half gallon of chocolate whole milk. So let's take this down, but I'm not an animal, so I'm not gonna chug it. I'm just gonna drink this in this corner right here. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so good. You want a sip of this? No. Good answer. 230 calories per cup. There's eight servings, so that's over 1,800 calories in this half gallon. It's more than half of my just maintenance diet. It was really good till about right here. Then I was pretty much done. I gotta let that sit for a bit and then meal too. So according to Mr. Sam Solik, he likes to get in at least 400 grams of carbohydrates before his workout on workout days. So I did the math in my little journal here, and in order for this to equal the same amount of macros as the Cinnamon Toast Crunch that he used in his videos, I need to use 169 grams of this. Holy smokes. It's like almost the whole box. Okay. Dude, this is so much whole milk. Oh my gosh, bro. I better get the sickest leg pump ever. That's right, we're doing legs today. It's pretty good, not gonna lie. <laughs> it would probably be absolutely spectacular if I didn't already have all that sugar in the chocolate milk. Mmm. So really good. We're good, my pancreas is still working. I thought I'd have a lot of milk left, but I actually was able to scoop up a lot of milk with each bite using this big spoon, leaving just a little bit of milk left over at the end. Finish it up. Mm. All right, I'm gonna let these nutrients soak in for about an hour and then head it off to the gym to get a lift in. And once we arrive at the gym, we're gonna shake up our intro workout. I'm trying my best, but you should, if you wanna watch a chill video that just takes you back to like a better time, but that time is now, definitely I highly recommend checking out Sam Sulek's videos whether you agree with this way of eating training or whatever or not it's just they're just good they're just good so Sam Sulek intro workout in the video I watched he consumed two servings of hostile subs CDX which is their cluster dextrin product basically just carbohydrates so I'm gonna use 200 calories worth of maple syrup as my intro workout to mimic the 200 calories worth of cluster dextrin that Sam Sulek uses in his full day of eating videos. I need 60 grams of maple syrup. Ooh. Hoop, shoot. All right, 67, that's a little over, but honestly, I'm still feeling the fullness from the cereal. I mixed it with a lot of water, it's, but it still tastes just as thick. All right, let's hit some legs. Ship. Thanks. You can go between the two, whatever you see fit. So my workout sets were very intense, but quite short lived. That's because I'm actually doing Mike Menser for a month, Mike Menser workouts, um, as requested by you guys. So yeah, with that being said, as you can realize, it was kind of hard to get a lot of this intro workout down. So I kind of chugged a bit in between sets and now I'm just kind of going for a stroll here and uh, taking the rest down. Oh, oh baby, if you catch my drift. I was watching a little Sam Sulek when I was doing cardio, pretending to be Sam Sulek, but what an oxymoron. Or maybe just what a moron I am. Does that even make sense? In the video that Sam did with Fawad, he had four servings of Hostile Sub CDX, which is approximately 400 calories worth. And then he had two scoops of ISO H1 milk chocolate. That means in order to match the macros, we need to do, where's my scale? 120 grams of maple syrup, and then just two scoops of this whey protein chocolate isolate, which exactly matches the macros of the hostile subs isolate, so that's perfect. 120, 64, 64 grams. 64. Holy sh! I think he chugged it down pretty quickly in the video. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. Kind of reminds me of the old Met Metrics. Forgot to do a pump check. Let's see if we can. Oh, 
yeah so Honestly, I feel like I'm gonna blow up my pants any second now. One for it, and those are wrecked. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so I took a breather. I just kept sipping this thing. Um, helped my wife film a video for her channel. If you guys wanna check that out, she's starting a channel. She doesn't wanna shout out right now, but I'll shout her out anyways. I think you're doing some, she's doing some running stuff. Last little sip here. <sighs> All right, off to the store to get some groceries. This one's really hitting me, guys. This is like so much maple syrup. This is how I feel right now. It's like... I'm doing the bodybuilding cart lean. See? It's time for a burger and fries. Whoa. So the next meal you had in the full day of eating video was a Five Guys cheeseburger with mustard, lettuce, ketchup, and a medium fry and then a drink, which to my knowledge, from what I saw in the video, thank the Lord, was water. Anyways, this is what I'm a little confused on. I went to the Five Guys website to look up these calories so that I could mimic it exactly for this video. Five Guys apparently only uses 3.3 ounce patties for their burgers, and their cheeseburger is apparently, according to their website, 980 calories. And I'm thinking like, only one 3.3 ounce patty and it's 980 calories. I mean, even with cheese, like, anyways, for this burger to equal 980 calories, I had to do two five ounce patties with two big pieces of American cheese and then this big 260 calorie bun, lettuce, mustard, ketchup. To mimic Five Guys fries, it was approximately 411 grams of russet potato chopped up, soaked with sugar, and then I fried them in ghee. Ghee is like clarified butter. Butter has like a smoking point of around 350. So if you want to fry in butter, you need to use the clarified version, which is ghee. And this has a smoking point of like above 450, I think. Yeah, it worked. I'm a little cold, a little soggy now, but. Oh, still good though, still good. And there's a little bit less here than there was because I was kind of snacking on them over there while I was waiting for this to cook up. Oh, I'm so excited to dig in this burger, guys. I'm like so sugared out. After all that sugar so far today, this is so good. Oh, I feel like I got a pump eating that. I gotta be real, I feel like my stomach has absorbed all that previous stuff. Like it's just, it's in me now. Am I getting huge? But yeah, I think like the super high sugar, as crappy as that made me feel, it just cleared out of the stomach quickly. <laughs> to be honest, I could eat another one of those burgers. Those are so good. But I do wanna save room because Let's just say I'm gonna need the room. Same shirt, different underwear. All right, where are we going? What do we need? Oh, I need to get dessert or dinner or the next meal. Well, we got a couple options here. Yeah, we could roll that into dough. It's all the same, it's all just dough. This one's longer. But this one's wider. <laughs> this one's longer. But this one's wider. <laughs> this one's longer. But this one's wider. <laughs> this one's longer. But this one's wider. We're going with girth. Yep. Me and my girlfriend. Does Sam Sulik have a girlfriend? 90 bucks. On some toilet paper and some white strips. Alright guys, final meal here. So you're gonna have to forgive me, I kind of got a little sloppy with the, the sweets. I managed to make it the exact same macros as four Krispy Kremes, which is what Sam Selleck had at the final meal. So the reason for the cinnamon rolls is I was gonna make my own um, donuts, but it just, it just wasn't happening. Nevertheless, it's still the exact same macros pretty much as the Krispy Kremes, maybe a little bit more with the frosting on there. So at least four Krispy Kremes donuts worth of cinnamon roll calories plus 960 milliliters of whole milk. The final meal going down. Oh, this is good. Yeah, there's protein in the dough, but it's dough. It doesn't count. 
By the way, some fun facts. I did the calculation. Um, now I adjusted it per the serving size. If I only used like one sixth of a package, I divided that by six. Anyways, I calculated this entire day costing me 67.65. But when I calculated Sam Sulek's full day of eating based on the prices I got online, I got 50.86. So yeah, I went full hippie Karen diva and I tried to make all my food organic but it was only about 17 more dollars. Maybe that's not worth it to you, but I just thought it was interesting. Ooh. I gotta be real though, even though it's organic, I don't think I'm gonna feel any better. Well, that's it. Let's take a look at the afters. So I've gotta be honest here, I'm not as like fat feeling as I thought I would feel. Get this, total daily macros. 7,046 calories, 288 grams of protein, 271 grams of fat, 894 grams of carbohydrates, 355 grams of sugar, apparently 147 grams of saturated fat. Regardless, anyways, that's it. I gotta be real, I actually don't feel as bad as I thought I would right now. We'll see how this sits overnight. Check in with you guys in the morning. That's when the magic's made. Good morning, Home Slice. So here is the night immediately after the challenge compared to the before. And here is the morning after the challenge compared to the before. So I'm only 0.2 pounds up. To my surprise, not the massive increase in post-challenge water weight that I expected. In my opinion, I do look a little wrecked in the face. On a positive note, I do feel like I look a little bit more pumped and I think that makes sense considering all of the carbohydrates I ate yesterday. Yeah, I think this actually just worked for me as actually kind of more of a carb up than it did like a, like a punch in the gut. At the end of the day, who am I to judge another man's diet? With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, check out Sam Sulik's videos. And with that being said, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned because I have more videos coming out. I hope you all have a great day. Peace, I will see you all in the next video. What am I forgetting? But you gotta focus.